mirror objects here is used when you want an object to be uh, duplicated and mirrored on both sides of the stone. So if I were to delete this corner design that we have and we wanted the bird to be on both sides, I'd select the bird and then hit the mirror button and what it would do is it would duplicate it and mirror it to the opposite side of the stone. It finds the largest filled object behind whatever your selection is and mirrors on that object. If it doesn't have anything behind it, um, this is actually two separate objects, so if I were to just hit mirror right now, it's mirroring on itself, which is not what we want it to do, so I'm going to undo that. Um, but if we had that grouped, so I'm going to group it first, and then I went to mirror objects, it doesn't know what to mirror off of, and so it says select an object to mirror from. That way I can click the die and it would mirror to the other side of the die. So one other way that we could use this, let's go ahead and delete these, is if we wanted for instance to have this, and I'll hit shift page up to bring it to the front, if I wanted it to be on either side of just the panel, uh, first I need to make sure that these panels aren't grouped together, which they were. Um, but I can select this, and this time, ahead of time, I'm going to hold down control on the keyboard and then hit mirror. And now it's waiting for me to click on a ref or a target. And so I'll click on the panel, and it's going to simply mirror to the other side of the panel. Now you probably wouldn't want a bird on either side of a panel, um, but it is useful for things like flowers and other ornamental things that you might want um, on either side of, of your panels or anything else target-wise that you would want. I'll just go ahead and delete those and back to our original here and just hit mirror and it will then send it back up into the corner for me. So the three different ways are if it's got a, a filled object behind it, it will go ahead and mirror on that. If it doesn't, it will ask you what to mirror on or if you hold down control before clicking or while clicking on the the button up here and then it will mirror on whatever target you select next. If on the other hand you wanted your image just to be mirrored on itself so that it was facing the other direction you would just use the standard mirror horizontally here and that way it just flips it on itself. It's not making a duplicate all it's doing is flipping it. So that's different from uh, mirror objects that actually creates a duplicate and mirrors to the opposite side.